What's up everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna be reviewing the latest collection from Balenciaga, Spring Summer 2024 collection. It was presented a few days ago. This time they skipped the runway show and instead they did a digital presentation. It was filmed in front of the brand's historic headquarters in Paris. Well, guys, as you may know, Balenciaga got into this big mess over the online ad campaigns posted last November. And since then, the brand has been trying to redeem its reputation. In addition to charity campaigns and numerous other endeavors, they also tried to make their collections focus more on clothing itself and craft rather than controversies. Well, Balenciaga Fall Winter 23 collection was a good example of this. It was relatively simple and less controversial collection. It heavily referenced Balenciaga's signature coats and DNA, and the same was expected from the latest Spring 24 collection, which actually did happen, but partially. Well, I feel like Demna, a mastermind behind the controversies and meta-ironics, made a gradual and quiet comeback in this collection. Balenciaga Spring Summer 24 felt like a variant of quiet luxury with underground energy and ghost slash ray vibes. As a pre-collection, it included every Balenciaga category, women's wear and also men's wear, starting from formal tailoring and denim to motorcycle leather and hoodies. The presentation itself was amazing. It seemed like just another day in Paris. Models were minding their own business. They were drinking coffee and riding scooters. Some of them were patting themselves down, probably checking their keys or their phones. Others were in the process of texting and finding Ubers. And then came a heavy downpour. Models pulled out their umbrellas and rushed back home. Long story short, in parodying these kind of things, Demna managed to make a meme of normal and mundane life. Apparently normal is something that Balenciaga has been in great need over the recent months. In regards to actual collection and the clothing, I feel like it was a blend of the brand's past collections. Definitely, it was less subversive and done in a safer way. This collection was meant to strike a balance in the middle ground. Not highly controversial, but still it was meant to be Demna's Balenciaga. Alright, let's zoom in on actual clothing. It's no secret that Demna loves tailoring and super exaggerated shapes, and this collection was no different. A lot of looks here came with super oversized blazers and overcoats. As always, Demna sticks to unusual styling choices. He combined double-breasted suit jackets with panto shoes. I feel like he took biker boots from Fall Winter 23 collection and developed them into panther shoes. They are crafted from thick leather with layers of paneling and padding all the way from the waist to the toe. Next, let's move on to suits. What we have here is super oversized pinstripe suit. Apparently, it's nothing new. We have seen this many times in the past collections. Even though the same old suit, the choice of accessories here is pretty interesting. Looks like the model is holding a rodeo boot bag. Obviously, it's a tote bag that looks like a giant pair of leather boots. We have also other garments from the tailoring segment, like the usual trapezoid coats. Again, we've seen the similar looks and silhouettes many times before. When it comes to new things from the outwear segment, probably we should check out padded trench coats. I guess we can call it also trench coats on steroids. This innovative combination of a trench coat and a puffer was indeed refreshingly novel. Speaking of novelties, we should check out Demna's yet another new creation, trench fronted denim jacket. Here looks like a trench coat is attached to the jacket with its collar. It reminded me a denim jacket from the brand's Fall Winter 23 collection. In that look, an extra pair of pants were attached to the jacket from the back. Probably the most controversial garment from this collection is Demna's towel skirt. They look identical to actual towels. Unfortunately, we don't have any insights. Demna has not commented much on this collection. Again, here we have a handful of unusual styling choices. Towels are wrapped around denim pants and cargo pants. In the same outfit, we see cascading layers of plaid shirts and hoodies. 
Choice of footwear is a pair of mules. They are Balenciaga tag on the Birkenstock Baston mules. Speaking of mules, we have yet another variant in this collection, the hyper elongated, turned up, square toed mules. They were used extensively in this collection. They reminded me kind of shoes I've seen in the cartoons and computer games. Guys, to sum it up, this collection was kind of a move from Balenciaga. By exploring everyday mundane activities, they relate the message that fashion can no longer be seen as entertainment. The idea here was to tone down all the controversies around the brand and stick to the art of making clothes. Well, despite all of that, the collection was not entirely gimmick free. For instance, we had those towel skirts, super shrunken hoodies and those hyper long mules. And I guess that's totally understandable because controversy is so central to the core of Demna's Balenciaga. Anyways, guys, Balenciaga is officially back. Certainly it's not the best time for the brand, but let's see how fast it can recover and return to its former glory. All right, that sums up today's video pretty much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.